Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome to the last item of part 5. Here we will handle error display using Ajax. So, so far we have implemented all CRUD operation using Ajax and Bootstrap model. Now we need to see that how we can display error messages to this form. For now we have just, uh, we are just showing that something went wrong if users uh, submit an empty form using some alert and we are displaying invalid details text in this alert box but now we will display our error messages to this model body so for doing that I will use uh, bootstrap alerts to display error messages in some prettier format so but for that first we need to map some elements to the DOM so open your form.html.erb and uh, add a division in model inside the model body and name it id and provide an id to this element as uh, error area so we will render all of the errors in this error area now we need to create a partial with error messages so let's create a partial and save it as error.html.erb now we need to do this just paste this here into error partial Now let's render this error in form when submitted as empty form. So open your create.js.trb, get the element from the DOM dash dollar hash error area dot html and then render parts using JS error user and render user save this form save this partial reload the page click on new user form and submit it now you can see form messages here but now these are not look very prettier so we can add some bootstrap model uh, bootstrap alerts here so open get bootstrap.com open docs search for alerts open the components search for alerts and you, you can copy any of the uh, alert element you want to display there maybe but I will show the error with uh, danger alert in the red form because error should be visible in some danger text like some red text so I will use that but I will not use this simple alerts I am using this alert with uh, close icon so we can close the error as well so let's copy this and pass paste that into error area Let's remove this well and this li tag as well. This li tag as well and render this uh, and place this div inside the loop and copy this error dot full messages text and paste it here into the strong area. Depending on your choice, you can remove uh, remove this strong tag as well. load the page now now you will see better errors 
Oh, you can see the errors here, but uh, error are not in danger text. So let's uh, rename this class alert warning to alert danger. Save it, reload the page, and submit the form. Now you can see the errors are in danger alert. But now let's make this text a bit smaller and add six here. So perform, submit it, and now you can also make it uh, add a class like uh, class text danger. Go to page. Okay, that's it. But hold on, we need to do this for Ajax as well. Uh, update edit as well. Now, when we submit edit form, sorry, when you submit the update form, you will see you still see the alert. So what we need to do is that we need to copy, render the same error partial in the update.js.erb as well and remove this alert text Sit here and let's reload the page now if you submit it you will see one error prohibit that this user from being saved name can't be blank you can remove this as well you can check with your address as well you can check with contact as well so these are the error messages for update to just to tr so we have handled and display errors to the form inside the bootstrap model so we are done with the crud implementation part here in the next lecture we will wrap up our series and we will remove some unused files and uh, we will discuss some advantages of following this course and so on so let's meet in the next lecture till then tata goodbye thanks for watching this